Hi again, Donna Barr of Donna Barr Media Services. Welcome to video number nine. And what we're going to do in this one is a little bit of housekeeping. We've managed to get the website installed and we've uh, changed colors and fonts a little bit. And we've also installed plugins for functionality for this website. But before we get all of that into play, there's a few things that need to be taken care of before we go too much further. Um, so here we are in the back end, and you can see that the list, as we've added plugins, has gotten longer and longer. This comments, we are going to go ahead, and this is one that came with WordPress. We're going to go ahead and highlight that and tell it to um, move to the trash because we don't need that comment. And move it completely. Okay. Then we are going to go into settings and go through these a little bit carefully. This is where you can uh, change things that we set up when we first installed or leave them as they are. You can see your URL, that's your address on the internet where you live. You can change your email address here. Uh, membership, you can change that to anyone can register. I don't think that's something you want to do right now. Just going to change the time zone here for my client while we're in here and UTC minus six there's a date format time format uh, you can put what day your date starts on I prefer Sunday so I will do that uh, you can change your language and there's I'm sure almost every language in the world here. Okay, but I'll just leave it there. And we'll save those changes. And we'll go on to writing. It's a good idea to go through all of these. Most of them are just common sense. And if you don't understand what something means, it's generally quite safe to leave it as it is. Here, I'm not going to change anything. So now we're going to go over to reading. And this is something we are going to change. We're going to make this, say, a static page at some point. But because we haven't created a static page, I'll put it back. We'll get back to that later. The reason for that is then we can be sure that the same thing comes up every time. When you tell it to look at your latest posts, um, if you're adding to your website, it might start showing your Twitter feed. This way, everybody will see the same thing every time, and that's what you generally want for your business. If you want to change what your customer sees when they go there, then you will change, you will edit your static page. So we'll come back to that later. And for the moment, we can just leave everything on here the same. I want to get into the discussion. And again, what we're doing is we're limiting what other people, viewers, simply can do on your site with this particular setting. Uh, I would attempt to notify any blogs linked and you can see these settings I put up kind of high. Users must be registered and logged in to comment. Not everybody wants to register and log in to comment and that way you'll prevent a lot of spam. In fact, most business websites don't really use uh, allow comments. So we've got this 
I'm going to say comments must be manually approved and it's unlikely that you will get any because we've tightened everything up here. And if you want to close comments on articles older than 14 days, that makes sense too. So just about everything's checked off there. And let's just see if there's a save settings that we have to do. Also, you can um, decide what the rating of your site is. Okay, so this one we want to save changes because we have made changes. Then we will go back over here and we will look at media. And this just are some parameters for how big your pictures show up when their thumbnails, what a medium size is, and what a large size is. Again, nothing you really have to do here. It can be very confusing the first time you come in and you're not sure if you should change things or not. Very often, shouldn't change anything. Okay, again, um, this doesn't really need changing. There may come a time when It'll be of use to you, but not right off the bat. We've already set the limit login of temps. I locked myself out once already on this site, but we are allowing four retries. Oh, you can see it did say one lockout, so, but we're good now. After a while, uh, it will, um, give you, first it gives you a 20 minute lockout is what we've set it to. And if we get four lockouts, then we increase the time to 24 hours. So you can see that that's just another level of security on your site. Here's the Google fonts. We popped into here a little while ago. This would be if you want to create an actual control for your fonts, but not likely you need to and that would affect the whole theme if you did that. But again, not something you need to worry about at this point. And now for my client, I'm looking at the appointment booking calendar. Many businesses use appointments, so it's uh, why I wanted to show you this one. And this is where you can create a calendar and I'm going to put my own username in there. Later I will add another user for my client. Probably take myself out once they're comfortable using this. So again, use this area only if you want to activate the form builder. We're not sure that we'll need to do that. I am just going to leave things as is and update just because I changed the user. Now there is another place on here where we can manage the calendar. There's even an online demo and very often these plugins will have demos for you to look at. So that would be our housekeeping for the moment and in the next video, we will start uh, installing, pardon me, not installing, but actually making these things function until we get this website where it needs to be to be live for my client. So we will see you in the next video.